The reason we wanted to engage with Tarmac for this particular programmer works was we identified the need for a, a more durable overlay to the concrete carriageway on the A55 and A483. The asphalt had come to the end of its design life. Our technical guys came up with a solution for using ultisami and ultilayer to help distribute the strains caused by the joints in the concrete and prevent cracking in the final finished surface. Well, the ECI stage really started uh, around two years ago uh, when we were preparing the design for phase one of the works from Broughton to Ulo and Tarmac were extremely uh, supportive in, de in, in developing that design. The joint uh, arrangements with uh, using echelon paving was quite key to improving the surface quality and durability of the surfacing. A55 is a very busy route. There aren't any easy diversion routes if you're closing the carriageway. We work together with Namutra, with Flintshire, with our own traffic management department. The final solution uh, was closures at night and at weekends with lane closures during the day. That was extremely important because of the, uh, the need for support from the local authorities to make use of their network uh, to free up the road space we needed to undertake the works. So that was really important part of the project. That phase of the works went particularly well. The, the, the coordination of the, the tarmac teams and taking multiple construction activities was highly successful. The reason we used the 3.8 metre planer was down to two factors. Firstly, production and obviously with increased safety. In terms of the production, we set ourselves a very ambitious programme of completing 4,500 tonne to be planed out and relayed over two big weekends. The reason we used echelon paving and feeders on this scheme was so we could provide the client Minutra and Welsh Government with the best possible finish on the project. The dual carriageway has no hard shoulder, so to get delivery vehicles in and out of the scheme it is extremely difficult. The solution we came up with in the end was to work in the opposite direction to the way we would normally. We closed off the junction prior to where the uh, work started and that enabled safe egress and access into the site for all the delivery vehicles. The echelon paving method we adopted on this project was a follow-on from the successful project that Tarmac completed in the summer of 2019 in Silverstone. The echelon paving method allows us to have a seamless pavement. It eliminates the construction of a longitudinal joint. The key point about using BPO echelon paving is it allows us to manage the flow of delivery wagons onto site. So the site team could keep an eye on the uh, where delivery wagons were at any one point to ensure that the paver didn't stop uh, during our operation. Tarmac are on our uh, current framework and they've been performing well, the relationships have been excellent. The overall surfacing design that eliminated the transverse joints that we had previously has improved the ride quality quite significantly. The tolerances um, that the technology you've, you've used on your surfacing uh, plant is, is quite noticeable in, in the overall ride. We were delighted as Tarmac to have the opportunity to work with Minutra and Welsh Government on this prestigious project. From day one it felt like one team. Uh, the client was very forward thinking and the, uh, the collaboration between both parties uh, was excellent and we just hope that we can continue our excellent working relationship with Minutra and Welsh Government in the future.